favorites in between. Laugh with the popular personalities of the present. And don't forget your free ticket to the box office. If you want it, WADL has it. We're your one-stop shop for all the programs you love. We are WADL Detroit. Stay tuned tonight for the Late Night Music Marathon from 1 a.m. to 5 a.m. I'm the man, I'm the man, I'm the man. Well, you can tell me. The new 910 AM Superstation. The most powerful voices in the urban community. Are you behind on your mortgage? Are you facing foreclosure? Do you feel like you have nowhere to turn? NID Housing Counseling Agency is offering free housing counseling. We can help you. You have options. With one simple phone call, you may be able to stop the foreclosure process, lower your monthly mortgage payments, and even save your home. Call 844 230 1773. The time to call is now. That's 844 230 1773. If great programming and pure excitement is what you want, the Saturday lineup with 9 10 a.m. is what you need. Welcome back to On Point with Ralph Godby on 9 10 a.m. The Superstation. We've been talking a little politics. Uh, a lot of politics uh, this morning. Uh, callers have been tremendous. Uh, but this is Wealth Building Wednesday, and we know that uh, there are a few ways to create wealth in our community. One uh, is real estate. Two is inheritance. Uh, another is by investment. Uh, but another way to start uh, a path towards wealth is being an entrepreneur. And we have a young entrepreneur with us, Angelo Austin. Angelo, how you doing today, sir? I'm all right, sir. How are you today? Man, I'm doing great, man. You got the studio lit, man. It smells good in here, bro. Okay, thank you very much. We're turned on these scents. Well, uh, <laughs> tell us about preeminence. Tell us uh, uh, about your product uh, and how you uh, came to get into this industry. Okay, preeminence is basically it's a fragrance line. It's predominantly women. Mm-hmm. We are known for custom fragrances, but we do have signature fragrances also. Okay. Uh, we've been around for a couple years now. Mm-hmm. Originally... We started off just kind of wanting to just to, you know, basically do the signature sense, but got into more of the uh, private labeling and stuff like that or whatnot. And I've been wanting to start this since I want to say about 2008, 2009. Okay. Uh-huh. Um, but ever since then, like whenever I would go into Macy's and stuff like that yeah. and see like the big name brands, I would get discouraged. Okay. You know what I'm okay. saying? So I would get discouraged and I kind of kept putting a dream off or whatnot. Mm-hmm. Or whatnot. So one day um, I was actually reading this um book by uh, Napoleon Hill, Think and Grow Rich. Okay. okay. And so basically it was um, basically talking about really focusing your efforts and a lot of your, you know, uh, a lot of the reasons people don't go after their dreams okay. is because of lack of confidence. Yeah, yeah. You know, absolutely. and really when you really think about confidence, what mm-hmm. it means, it means to have a strong belief in something. And so at that point I realized, okay, you know, I need to have a stronger belief in my ability to do right, it. Right, right. You know, so I really got into the research of it. And when I mm-hmm. um, sat down and really learned the craft of how to do it, you know, it took some time to learn how to do it and actually began to see it wasn't as difficult as I thought it would be. Okay, okay. So that's when I began to um, launch the line and just really been pushing forward with a sense. Man, that's awesome, man. And, and I, I'm glad you pointed that out because I think the biggest person you have or the biggest thing you have to have confidence in is yourself. Right. And if you don't have that confidence there, I think that's where uh, we miss out on a lot of opportunities. You know, uh, Angela, what I think about is you have so many people that they may have a signature dish they make for the family dinner. Right. They have, you know, all these different things that they're giving away. And that gift, if you really believed in it and started to sell it, it really would. That that might be the key to your wealth. Right. You can monetize off of that. And yeah, one thing yeah. that people don't understand is you have to really take is it could be the smallest thing yeah, that yeah. that you can do that people mm-hmm. don't really think that they can actually you know go out and push right, it like and push that it, yeah. yeah and it's like you got to really pay attention to me to the small things mm-hmm. that um that you know be, take a lot of things um on you know for example on a lot of things people compliment you on mm-hmm. one thing people always complimented me on was the way I smelled okay you okay. know so yeah. that and then not even only that I always bought women any woman I was dating or uh-huh. my you know my sister and stuff like that right. I would buy them perfume as a gift okay you know so I always had you know, a passion mm-hmm. for the scent, yeah. but and you making time, somebody else rich while you was doing right. it, right? Yeah. Making somebody yeah. else rich while I was doing mm-hmm. it, and you know, I'm looking at that like, okay, you know what? I want my own, you know, line it's a sig- of this. signature you line, know, so right? Right. That's why I end up, you know, started to get into doing that. Wow. So, so if there's somebody out there listening uh, that, you know, their dream has been deferred, they got a talent, 
they've been working on it. I, you know, you talked about Napoleon Hill thinking grow rich. Mm-hmm. Uh, was that really the the kickstart for you, or, or what were some other things that said that made you say, you know what? I'm just gonna try this. I, I got to go try this. You know what? To be honest, too, mm-hmm. um, uh, it was. It, uh, I say about eighty percent of it was the Napoleon Hill. Okay, okay. But um, one thing about it too is, um, like I told you, I wanted to do this. Uh-huh. Um, but um, it was at a point to where you know, you know, stuff. You know how life go up yeah, and down, and everything up like and down. that. Right, right. And um, I had decided to get into nursing school. Okay, you know, so mm-hmm. to um, you know, get the money to fund, uh, you know, to fund, fund to dreams. do this, yeah, you know, yeah, to fund yeah. it or whatnot. So. Mm-hmm. After I went through nursing school, I got kicked out my first semester. I okay. got kicked out okay. my first semester, mm-hmm. and, um, you know, I made it all the way through to the program, and okay. I ended up getting kicked out. Mm-hmm. So, you know, I would say, you know what, um, instead of, you know, at that by that point, I had just got into Ford Motor, Ford Motor Company. Okay. okay. So at that point, I'm like, okay, you know what, I'm making the money to actually do this, mm-hmm. what I really wanted to do, and let me just put it into it. And at that point, I seen that if you're really not passionate about something, you know, it's, it's going to be difficult for you to do it. That's you know, it's going to be really difficult for you to do it. And I, mm-hmm. I can see that that's why I mm-hmm. did not succeed in nursing school. Right, because you weren't passionate. I wasn't it. passionate. It was for the money. Mm-hmm. It, it, but that's amazing that you said that, Angelo, because a lot of things, you know, everybody wants the dollar. Right. You know, cash rules everything around us. <laughs> but the reality is, you know, you may start off and the money is good. Right. But if you're not passionate about it, there's not enough money in the world that can really make you do something you're not passionate about. Right. It's not. And they're not even like, if, and the flip side of that, too, if you are passionate about mm-hmm. something, the money will come it'll with come. that. It, exactly. It'll come exactly. with that because yeah. you, you you just care so much about what you're doing. You put mm-hmm. love into the product or whatever it is that you're doing or right. the service that you're learning to create mm-hmm. or whatever. And you will, you know, everything can start to fall in place with yeah. that. You just got to have to really trust the universe that it will. Man, that's dope, man. Well, uh, let's talk about preeminence. If somebody, you know, wants to uh, check out your signature line, uh, or, you know, uh, how, how would they start to do that? Do you have a website or anything? Yeah, I have a website. Um, it's called www.preeminentbrands.net. Okay. Um, I'm also inside Laurel Park Mall out in really? uh, yes, okay. Livonia, Michigan. That's mm-hmm. on Six Mile of Newburgh. Yeah. So I'm out there. Um, you know, I'm closed Mondays and Tuesdays, but I'm there every other day. Okay. So you have a kiosk or what, what do you have set up? Okay. Kiosk. Yep, it's a kiosk. Um, the customers can come in. Um, create the signature scent there. Um, mm-hmm. You know, get the. Well, you said create the. I mean, signature. I'm sorry. Create the custom scent. Custom scent. Yes. Okay. Okay. And you know, uh, or get the signature scent. Wow. Yes. So how does that work? Talk, kind of talk the, us through the, that process. Um, the sick uh, the custom scent. Mm-hmm. Okay. What the custom scent does is like with that. I sit down. You have to really get an understanding of okay. the person's sense of smell. Mm-hmm. Everybody has different sense of smells. Right. Um, one of the main things that I ask. A customer is their diet. Okay, they like to eat. Okay, uh, if you really notice, the sense of smell and your taste is connected. Really? Yes, okay. it is connected. Okay. The same part of the brain that actually you. So, you I mean, you really have research. Oh yeah, this I research. Thing, this. Okay, yeah. 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 So they're really connected. So if a person, say for instance, if a person likes sweet stuff, mm-hmm. or it's like sweet stuff and fruit, mm-hmm. um, nine times out of ten, that's the type of fragrances that they okay. like. Okay, okay. You know, with that in it, most mm-hmm. of the stuff that you actually that's in fragrances is actually stuff like that's. You know, nutmeg, cinnamon, yeah, yeah. stuff like okay. that or whatnot. So I get a real sense, um, keen of with their diet. Mm-hmm. Um, not only that, um, I actually see their favorite fragrances already. Okay. Because it's a pattern in them. Okay. So if someone likes, you know, um, certain fragrances, let's say their top five fragrances okay. or whatnot, okay. um, it's something connected in all of that. It's gotcha. probably okay. one main note that's connected Th- in that, all that of that. That runs through all of them. That okay. runs through all that. And then mm-hmm. I take what they like, and then I take what I like, okay. and then I try to, you know, okay. merit that. Wow, man. <laughs> So, so you're not talking about just buying something that you put it on and everybody else going to smell it on somebody right, else. Right, Now, I, I've heard also that your body chemistry really goes with, you know, how a certain scent smells on you as right. well. Right, so, so how does that play into the, the Um, That's just how it is. I mean, just the body chemistry, period, mm-hmm. you know, the oils and everything like that, right, it right. smells different on different They're people. different people. Okay. Yeah, some people have dry skin and, mm-hmm. you know, it'll... Uh, you know, seep in a little bit slower okay. and then have a different type of smell and the outcome of it. Man, I, you know, I'm just fascinated. I love, you know, Angelo, to talk to people that really have mastered their craft. Yes. Know? I mean, that understand every aspect of it that the normal person wouldn't just sit around and think about. Right. Because that whole connection between what you eat mm. and, and, and the smells that appeal to you, I never would have made that connection at all. Yes. When, it came, when it comes to, you know, scents or perfumes or colognes. I never would have made that connection at all. Yeah, that's the actual science behind it. Yeah, mm-hmm. it's um, you actually smell with your memory. Like okay, 80, okay. Eighty percent of what you remember is really from smell, like wow. that too. 
So it's like, um, you know, it's all connected. So, to so the some brand. triggers that come yeah, in it's with that. Triggers that come in with that. Yes. Man, that's crazy. So I, I you know, I, I'm a steak and potatoes guy, so I don't know what kind of stuff. <laughs> <laughs> you know go what? Um, with that. It depends on what type of seasoning you like. Yeah, Let's say, yeah. for instance, if you like rosemary or oh, something okay, like that, okay, rosemary okay. is actually an oil that, wow. that you know that, that a lot of people that, like in okay. their stuff, and it's actually used in a lot of perfumes. Man, that's that's dope. Yeah. So so now I'm interested. Are, are you going to branch more into male colognes? Uh, in a sense, or or you just want to stick with the uh, ladies. You, you know what? Honestly, my niche is mm-hmm. the women. Okay. You know, my okay. niche is the women. Um, and it's the, a smooth brother, too. If y'all, watching, <laughs> if y'all watching, I know you ladies is like, no. <laughs> my niche is for the women, but uh-huh. you know what? I am going to start branching into the um, males. The bros want to smell good, Yeah, too. the, the bros want to smell good. Because I heard you say when you came in, you started talking about it, you got a reputation for how you smell. Right. So come on, look out for, but the, you brothers. Know, <laughs> look out for the brothers. <laughs> but you know, honestly, most of my sense that I always liked uh-huh. Have been more unisex. Okay, okay. You know, so I think that kind of plays a part into That's it. That's interesting too, man. Yeah. Because you know, I, I buy a lot of uh, my fragrances uh, when it comes to lotions. I go to Bath and Body Works, which you, predominantly women go to. Right. But I don't necessarily get the male sense because right. they don't appeal to me. Right. You know, so that that's that's interesting. So I don't know if I'm metrosexual. Nah. Or call it, you know, but you know, uh, I, I I I call I call it bougieto because yeah, bougie. you know, I'm <laughs> I'm from the east side of Detroit. You know, I grew up hard. I got hands and all that stuff. But the older I get, you know, I'm starting to, you know, got to keep to like yeah. them things. Man. You know, ladies talk about your skin soft. Ooh, you smell so good. Right, you got to good keep feather. you got to keep it smooth for the ladies. You got to keep it smooth and for the ladies. That's one thing too. You got to have something on that they go like. Yeah. And they go like something that they almost were kind of wearing. Right, not exactly. too feminine. Not too feminine. Exactly. Not too feminine. Exactly. Yeah. There's a balance. There's a, balance, a balance there. Yep. Man, I, man, this is a great conversation, Angelo. So again, I want you to give your information because. Uh, I want people to be able to get in touch with you, see your website, know where you're at. Now, what are your hours when you're at Laurel Park? Park? Um, I'm there from 10 in the morning to 9 at night. Okay, so you're um, humping. You're grinding. Yeah, I'm you're grinding, grinding there. Um, and on Sundays, it's from 12 to 6. Okay. Um, so we are there those days or whatnot. Um, that's one way to get in touch with me. Like I said, the the website is www.preeminentbrands.net. I know that is a long name. Yeah, <laughs> yeah but I mean, it's, it's all about branding. Yeah, it's all about branding. It's it's all, about yeah, branding. I know that's a long name. You yeah. can find me on Instagram. Actually, you can just um, put in Angelo Austin and preeminence will come up. So okay. you can find that on there. Um, Twitter. It is Perfume King, and Snapchat is Perfume King. Okay, okay. So, and then those, I'm sure you got links to Perfume Yeah, I got links there. To, to everything there. And um, like I said, uh, two, I'm going to be at, uh, it is West Warren, uh, the Golf Club Banquet on okay. June 25th, doing a fashion show, a vendor event there. Okay. Um, I will be th- doing all things Detroit mm-hmm. in November, okay. too. So okay, I'll be great. doing those things, too. But outside of that, I will be predominantly at the mall. Man, I, I love the energy you bring to the table, Thank man. you, this man. You got to you gotta grind out here. People man, don't dope, realize man. that. Man, we go, we, 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 man, we're going to keep pushing this. Oh, yeah. This is Ralph Gobby, 19 AM, the Superstation. We're talking to Angelo Austin. we got to pay some bills. Uh, we're talking about preeminence. He has two signature scents. He's working on a third, but he also does custom scents. Uh, and you need to look this brother up, especially if you're a man trying to impress your lady. Nah. <laughs> <laughs> and, and, and if you had a bad week, bad weekend, you try to get back on the good side, you need to make your way out to Laurel Park Place <laughs> and, and see if you can appeal to her olfactory nerves. Right. Okay, this is Ralph Guy. We're going to be right back after you pay a few bills. Don't box you in when we play music. We play it all. It's the Late Night Music Marathon. Seven nights a week from 1 a.m. to 5 a.m. on 910 a.m. Superstation. The most powerful voices in the urban community. 910 AM Superstation is your headquarters for the real, the truth, the drama, and the passion. We want you to tune in, call in, and don't forget to follow. That's right. 910 AM Superstation can be found on all social media platforms, including Facebook, Twitter, Instagram, Snapchat, and Periscope. We keep it current. We keep it popping. And you never know what you'll see next. So keep it locked on 910 AM Superstation. Tune in, call in, and don't forget to follow. Some stations report headlines, but we, we make the headlines. We must be honest in this thing. This self-hatred of black folk didn't come out of the sky. It was the black church that by its unwillingness to tell black people to do for yourself. 
That was the most ahistorical uh, rant of insanity I've heard in a long time. Levi was on point, and I'm just so ashamed that you all kind of dissed him like that. You need to listen, and you need to be able to handle the truth. You need to show up At on Joy Road Patton to support this sister and to help get these murderers out of our community. Well, one thing I cannot tolerate, all of this condemnation of the church. Let me just be very brief. When folks ask me what is the church doing, I immediately respond by asking, well, what are you doing? 910 AM Superstation. We do radio our way. Put your hands up now! Do you have anything illegal on you? Hands up. Get on the ground! We charged. He's running. He's running. Sheriff's Department, stop! What is that? We energize. Stop resisting! Roll towards me. Chase him. Get ready. We loaded. You looking for some fun? Got him. Hey, there's no point crying now. Bad boys, bad boys. All new cops. We loaded. Viewer discretion advised at 3 p.m. on WADL Detroit. Take a laughcation with American Dad. Fly the friendly airways. Right here, honey. <laughs> See the sights. What's up? Relax and unwind. Just gotta find my quiet place. <laughs> I got ya. I'll come back to that one. It's an all-inclusive comedy getaway. Get a picture of these. Meow. Take a laughcation with American Dad. Viewer discretion advised. Weeknights at 12 midnight on WADL Detroit. 1.2 million DTE Energy customers across Michigan count on natural gas every day. So what is DTE doing to keep the service safe and reliable? John from DTE is here to tell us. Hey, John. Hello. Safety is our top priority. That's why we continually inspect and improve our natural gas system. In fact, we modernize about 100 miles of pipeline annually. Oh, so you're preventing problems before they start. Exactly. We're also modernizing natural gas meters by moving them from inside buildings to outdoors, making safety inspections easier. And certainly more convenient for customers. Well, that's the goal. We do everything we can to prevent natural gas leaks. But just in case a leak does occur, remember that DTE adds an ingredient to the natural gas to make it smell like rotten eggs, so everyone can identify it easily. So what should we do if we suspect a leak? Well, don't use electronic devices or open flames. Leave the area immediately and call DTE Energy at 800-947-5000, 24 hours a day. DTE Energy. Know your own power. Welcome back to On Point Ralph Gabby on 9, 10 a.m. The Superstation. I'm sitting here kicking it with Angelo Austin's, Austin, and we're talking about preeminence, uh, his uh, signature fragrance line. Uh, it appeals predominantly to the ladies. And I got to tell y'all, uh, uh, brothers, uh, the station is lit, and if my woman had this on, I'd be trying to get off work early to get home. <laughs> <laughs> Angelo, you're doing your thing, man. Thank you. I, I, I want to switch gears a little bit, um, and, and as we talk about you being a young black man, an entrepreneur, um. If there's a young man or young woman out there listening that, that they're waiting on a politician to come save them and change their lives and are waiting on a uh, Ford General Motors or Chrysler or somebody to come, you know, help them make their dream, uh, you know, what would you say to that person? I would say with anything, especially if you're waiting on a politician, if you're right. waiting on a job to call you, that's different because you mm-hmm. can use that as a platform. Okay. But now if you are waiting on a politician, mm-hmm. especially if you are a black person, okay, you really have to get out, out of that plantation mentality okay of waiting okay. on somebody to take care of you. yeah because yeah. no matter who get in that office you got to remember that the government is still controlled by what rockefeller and uh i forgot the other guy yeah, so it's about five different uh financial yeah, five interests different, that five, run the fed you know yeah that runs that or whatnot yeah. they're mm-hmm. still controlled by that so mm-hmm. nothing is gonna change they just make the promises while they're in there <laughs> and i mean you see stuff still stay the same no matter right. who's in office mm-hmm. and the president is kind of just used as a I'm not gonna say as a puppet, mm-hmm. but in a way, but yeah. somewhat a figurehead on certain issues, right? You know, they can help set policy and shape policy that can create an environment right. that will change the business, business uh, platform. But the reality is, you still got to go grind. Oh, you still got to go grind, and like I said, that's not gonna change. Or whether a Democrat mm-hmm. get in there, or whether a Republican get in there, right? Mm-hmm. Really, to you, it shouldn't matter who get in there. Yeah. I mean, you should really be in the mind frame of. I'm going to get mine regardless right, of right. who, you know, whoever right. in there. Mm-hmm. 
And, and then you vote your interest. Right, you vote your interest. Right, right. Right, but honestly, this 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 election, I don't see no kind of vote. <laughs> <laughs> I'm going to be honest with you. Um, it just, it's not a... I mean, I, I don't even see nobody with a good point of view, even yeah. though their point of views is really not. I hear what you're saying, Angelo. Yeah. I guess my concern is from a national standpoint. I'm very concerned about uh, international politics, the geopolitical, uh, you know, uh, infrastructure. Because when you have a person that is going to blame an entire religion right. for what's going on in the world, uh, I got a problem with that because uh, there are some uh, very, very evil. Uh, folks that claim Christianity as well that have done right. some things that have been oppressive to our people. Uh, but we have a call on the line. You might want to take a caller. Uh, okay. Angela. Yeah. Uh, we have uh, Miss Theo on the line. Miss Theo? Uh, yes, I'm here. Happy Wednesday yeah. to you. How are you today? Oh, wonderful. Happy Wednesday to both of you. I'm enjoying this conversation, and I have a couple questions. From You mentioned uh, spices, and basil is in um, tomato basil soup. Anyway, I like basil. And I wanted to find out if, if um, that is an indication of the type of cologne I might like. And then I have uh, two other questions. Okay. Uh, go ahead. Go, go ahead. I, I can, well, she said, no, okay, she said now, basil. Not, okay. Now, oh, yeah. Basil is actually a, um, that is actually an oil. That's, mm-hmm. that, that's an essential oil. That is used in a lot of fragrances also. So, like I said, if you like that, if you eat that and you like that in your diet, nine times out of ten, you will like that in your smell. I'm not even going to say nine times out of ten. I'm going to say... You ten will. Times yeah, right, ten right, times right. out of ten, you will. That's that's a clear indication of that. Okay. Yeah, Miss Theo, you um, said you had some other questions. Please go ahead. Yes. Um, Angel Fire has been discontinued, and Cartier has been discontinued. Um, are either of those based on a basil or some other spice? Have, have you... I would have to check on that because you know what I never smell. And you said Angel Fire. I know I smelled Angel the um, by Theory Monk Muller. Um, I know that's probably not the one you're talking about, is it? No, Angel Fire was an Avon product, and they discontinued it a few years ago. Cartier is an independent company. It's an extremely expensive cologne, and I've not been able to find it for I don't know a year or two. And Cartier is about a hundred dollars an ounce. Okay, okay. You know what? If you come out there. To Laurel yeah. Park Mall, I guarantee you I can make you something better than that. Okay. Now, that's my last question. Are, are you in, in an independent store or are you in the department store? Where, where can I find you there? I'm an actual kiosk. I'm a, I'm a kiosk in the middle of the mall. So uh, what what stores are you near? For I'm point right across of from Chico's yeah. down from Victoria's Secret. Okay. So, Ms. Theo. Oh, okay. Okay. That, that helps me a great deal. Okay. Yeah, it's the only fragrance. Um, uh, place the there, so you there. know, okay. yeah. So, so uh-huh. g- give those points of reference again for other folks who might be listening as well. It, it is across from Chico's, and we're down from Victoria's Secret. Um, Victoria's Secret and Pinker's right next to each other, and we're like literally like about ten feet away from there. Now, Angelo, you got to promise me this: you got to take care of Miss Theo. She is one of our queens, and it, when she comes see you, uh, and Miss Theo, let remind him uh, you're the caller from nine ten a.m. Uh, when you go to see her. Okay, I you... will. I'm also going to talk to him about a fashion show in his cologne at our um, 25th anniversary party next August. Okay, and, and Miss Bro, uh, can we do this? Miss Bro, can mm-hmm. we put you on hold? I want to get your contact information to get to Angelo uh, so he can reach out to you and talk about those opportunities as well. Okay. Okay. All right. Thank you so much. And again, happy Wednesday to you, Miss Bro. Thank you, Miss Theo. Yeah, she oh, she's a beast. She's a beast, <laughs> uh, Miss Theo. Uh, to have her in your corner, you you, you got somebody in your corner. Uh, she is a tremendous supporter of black business, oh, entrepreneurialism, uh, a, a, a student, a, 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 a very astute person of uh, you know recirculating dollars in our community. Uh, so she is a great person. Uh, so I really want you to connect with her. Oh, thank you. That's nice. Yeah, yeah. So Angelo, you know, we were talking about you know being a black male. Do you feel any? Um, I wouldn't say pressure but responsibility to be a role model for young black males coming up. You know what? Behind. And I'm glad that you kind of talked about that. Mm-hmm. I feel like in the black community, it does need to be more role models. Yeah. Doing yeah. something positive. Mm-hmm. Like, I mean, this is kind of a prime example. You don't have to take your money to the street and go flip it. Right, right. You know, right. you can mm-hmm. put it into something productive. Exactly. And, you know, that's the good thing. Mm-hmm. Really, when you actually out here doing something, your main thing should be to inspire somebody. Yeah, yeah. It should be an yeah. inspire somebody. And you get things to give them away. Yeah. And that's the same with knowledge. You mm-hmm. get knowledge to give it to somebody else. You know, you never know who you could be talking to. You could be yeah. talking to the next, you know, right. 
whoever, yeah. president or whatever. Oh, yeah, you the black Bill Gates in the making. Right. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> so you know, you definitely never know. So, I mean, it's, it's important. It's definitely inspired. Now, anybody hit you up so they can smell good for uh, the Beyonce for the formation tour last Look, for night? For the formation tour, they didn't come get me for the oh, formation on, tour, so, man. So yeah. we got to make sure we work on that next time. Next time that the Beehive is here. Because the Beehive, well, they was hype yesterday, man. man. I, I was looking my at my Instagram face. was just, just. It was filled with it. It was filled, <laughs> man. I was, I, I think it was more. I was trying to figure out who wasn't there. Right now, yeah. you, now you know between you and I, though, it was a whole bunch of people talking about the behind. They wasn't there. Oh, right, right. Some of them, some of them probably just took some pictures outside in a, in a nice outfit just so they get some likes. Yeah, for they went to the after party, maybe at Center Park, but they wasn't down there. Right. Well, y'all can tell the truth. You, you know, tell the truth, y'all. You, you know, you wasn't there. But Beyonce, whenever she come here, she shut it down. Oh no, I mean, she shut it down. Shut, whatever, wherever she goes, so she I mean, definitely. Uh, but I love favorite. to see the support, you know, and I wish we as black men could do that as well. Right. We need to support each other that way. Right. But you know, in in, in their community, you get more of the. The, the, the hating. So yeah, yeah. You definitely get But I think we can turn the corner on that. I really do. Uh, I think platforms like this, you know, when people can hear, you know, black men like you and I, we're talking, uh, we're exchanging, we're showing respect and right. love towards one another, we're lifting each other, you know, from our different platforms. I, I, I really think that, that that's why this platform is important, right. you know, for us to be able to model the kind of relationships we want to see come from black men. Right. You know, we lift, there's enough money out there for all of us. It, it, it is. You know, I ain't got to hurt you to get mine. I, if I lift you, we can lift each other. Right, and you never know. I mean, you always, that's why it just pay to work together. Yeah, it stuff. does. It, it does, because does. you never know how you can bounce off of somebody else or they can bounce off of you. Yeah, or how or, we can collab. Right, know? yeah. You know, and, and, and y'all put each, each other where you need to be. Uh, yeah, put each other on it. That's right. Hey, we're going to do this. We're going to do some traffic, do a little weather, uh, and then we're going to get back to our conversation with Angelo Austin, a tremendous young man, preeminent uh, since. Uh, he is uh, located at Laurel Park Place Mall. And we're going to talk more about how to stay in contact with him. Uh, Ladies, how you can get there. And if you want to make yourself smell good. Or, fellas, if you want your girl to have uh, 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 the scent of your desire, uh, this is the guy to do it. He got the studio lit. Uh, I'm thinking about, you know, I got a young lady in mind. I might want to get something for. (laughs) Now, y'all got to guess who it is, though, because you don't know. (laughs) Hey, but you got some road construction. Right lane closed. I-375 northbound at Larned Street, Chrysler Drive today. Until 6 p.m., so be careful. Or watch for workers in that area. Also, if you're in a no-buy area, you have uh, I-275 southbound between I-696 M5 and I-96 exit 165 and M14 I-96. And that's scheduled to be closed for construction uh, through mid-July. So you may uh, know that it's going to slow down in that area. And also, uh, there's scattered storms in the area, so be careful because of the severe weather. Uh, Kayla, uh, as a matter of fact, uh, the traffic is brought to you by Total Traffic. But go more in depth in that weather, Kayla. Well, actually, we're relieved from the scattered storms right now. It is partly cloudy and 70 degrees in the metro Detroit area. Uh, we're expecting a high of 82 today and a low of 64. And this weather report is brought to you by Weather Vision. If you want your olfactory nerves, that, that would be your nose. <laughs> uh, Tantalize and tickle with the uh, fresh sense of preeminence. Uh, you might want to tune in. Uh, we'll be right back after these messages to talk more with Angelo Austin. Entrepreneur. Uh, he has uh, got people smelling good from Laurel Park Place Mall in Livonia. We'll be right back after these messages. If you don't want to listen to the same songs all night long, stay tuned for the late night music marathon. From 1 a.m. to 5 a.m. on 910 AM Superstation, the most powerful voices in the urban community. WADL Detroit, Adele Broadcasting Corporation. It's your one stop shop for all the programs you love the classics, the fan favorites, and all the movies you can handle. If you want it, we've got it. You want it all in one place. Look no further than WADL Detroit, Adele Broadcasting Corporation. Financial emergency, medical bills, investment opportunity. You need cash fast, and you can expect to get it at Ziedman's. I got my cash in minutes. We'll turn your diamonds, gold, watches into the cash you need now. Our international buyers allow us to pay more for it. It was faster than the bank. Big loan, small loan. We treat everyone the same way. Ziedman's treats me with respect, and I like that. Ziedman's, Detroit and Southfield. 
Whether you're buying or borrowing, it's easy at the Z. Get to the point. Get to East Point Auto Sales where everyone drives. Social Security, bankruptcies, repos, bad credit, no big deal. East Point's professional staff will get you driving today. Located on 8 Mile Road across from Eastland Mall. It's easy to get to the point where everyone drives. Visit EastPointAutoSales.com or call 586-779-0000. 586-779-0000. Get to the point. East Point Auto Sales where everyone drives. Experience America's Night of Hope with Joel and Victoria Osteen. Saturday, July 23rd at Comerica Park in Detroit, Michigan. Not one of us are going to go home the same way we came in. We're so excited about coming to the great city of Detroit for America's Night of Hope at Comerica Park. It'll be a great night of inspiration and encouragement. I hope you'll come. Bring your friends and family. It will be a night that you'll never forget. Get your tickets now at tigers.com slash joel. Big Hollywood, big stars, big movies, big TV shows. Oh, my God. Celebrity Page TV, new exciting entertainment news right here. I'm Sonia Isabel. We take you around the world to give you the latest celebrity stories, plus behind-the-scenes access to your favorite stars and shows. Exciting and interesting and fascinating. Less talk, more Hollywood news right to the point. Celebrity Page TV, your entertainment news source. At 8.30 a.m. on WADL Detroit. Are you behind on your mortgage? Are you facing foreclosure? Do you feel like you have nowhere to turn? NID Housing Counseling Agency is offering free housing counseling. We can help you. You have options. With one simple phone call, you may be able to stop the foreclosure process, lower your monthly mortgage payments, and even save your home. Call 844-230-1773. The time to call is now. That's 844-230-1773. Welcome back to No Point Ralph. Got me on 19 AM, the Superstation. I'm sitting here chilling with Angelo Austin, uh, talking about his uh, fragrance line, Preeminence. Two signature scents, working on a third. And he's also known for custom scents. Uh, he has made the tie for me uh, between the foods that I like and uh, my olfactory nerves and what <laughs> will be appealing uh, from a scent standpoint. Uh, before we get back to our interview, I want, do want to remind folks that well, point Ralph Guy, we're looking for a dynamic father, and we have been getting great response uh, for nominations uh, because we want to provide, number one, a makeover, uh, number two, uh, a, a trip to a fabulous barber, uh, number three, uh, an opportunity uh, to get a workout session uh, to start working on that body, uh, and then uh, a spa day. And uh, we want to uh, find a father, that selfless father that makes sure that everybody else is taken care of above himself. Uh, we want to uh, feed him, uh, number one. Uh, we're going to read uh, the essay for the uh, uh, nomination uh, uh, of the selected father, and then we're going to make sure that he showered with those gifts. So if you know who that father is, if that's your father, uh, if it's your husband that uh, serves in that role, uh, please uh, send your nominations, a one-page nomination, just explaining why you think that dad is deserving. Send it to onpointwithralphgodby at gmail.com. That's on point with Ralph Godby at gmail.com. Uh, we've got a number of submissions. I've been reading them. Uh, it's going to be a tough choice. Uh, when myself, Kayla, and Stacy sit down to go over them uh, and make our uh, selection that we're going to announce on the 17th. Uh, and we want to make sure that we get that father uh, so we can get him tightened up. So if you want to take him to church, take him out to dinner, take him to the mosque, uh, wherever y'all going to do y'all thing at, we want Dad to feel special that day. Uh, and we want to acknowledge him. And we certainly would love to bring uh, that father on the show as well at some point to talk about it because, you know, uh, Austin, in our community, I, I think black men are getting a bad rap. Do right. we have our issues? Absolutely. But if you look at the disproportionate number of black and brown males that are incarcerated, if you look at the number of systemic issues that make it difficult for black men to succeed in this society, uh, but there are a tremendous number of black fathers that are involved in their in their children's lives. Right, it is. And, and they're fighting to be involved in their children's lives. Right. And, you know, I I know the narrative we see the first six minutes of the news, you know, is, is murder and mayhem. 
you know, black on black crime as if, you know, we're the only ones to commit crimes against ourselves. But I think that's by design. Oh, I, I, I know it definitely is. Yeah, it's by design. Like, mm-hmm. um, I was actually having a conversation with my father mm-hmm. about this a couple of days ago. Mm-hmm. Um, and the media, yeah, you know, uh, not to say no stations, but the media, yeah. they particularly do that. Mm-hmm. You know, and it just, it, it, it keeps us looked at in a certain way. They don't go out of their way to find uh, uh, Austin to talk about, you know, uh, Angela Austin to talk about, uh, you know, what you're doing as an entrepreneur. They don't go out the way uh, to find an Angela Austin and then hear about the conversation between you and your dad. Right. They, 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 they're not going to try and find that. That's just like if you take that, even though that's this little different, mm-hmm. but it's, it's kind of not. Like, even if you take that, um, remember, uh, this happened like a few weeks ago, mm-hmm. I think, um, about that, that baby that fell in a, Oh, yeah, 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 it was a gorilla. Yeah. Now, you mm-hmm. know, after that, mm-hmm. once they start their little rally about them yeah. shooting a gorilla, mm-hmm. one of the first things they want to bring up is that the father had no, some you're type absolutely of record. right, yeah. exactly, which had absolutely nothing, nothing to, to do, do with, with what that. happened there. <laughs> I mean, that was, the, to me, that was the most racist thing you could do is bring this father into the mix. He had absolutely nothing. His, right. what, what did his criminal record have to do with the Cincinnati Zoo not having adequate fencing to keep a three year old from falling into a gorilla pit. Right. The, yeah. And then <laughs> I mean, I mean you know, and then they mad. They more mad about the gorilla, the gorilla being shot. shot. Yeah. Than the fact that a, a, a young black kid could have got killed. Right. Could have got his head ripped, ripped off. Ripped off. Exactly. Yeah. So I mean, you, you know, but that's what people don't understand, uh, Angelo, about the Black Lives Matter. It, it, it's the it's the totality of how we're treated. Right. When it comes to black life, you compare, you know, a gorilla. And you value his life more than you do the young black boy that was saved. I got a problem with that, right? But that show how it shows we how we're at. valued and how we're looked yeah. at. Absolutely. And and then to, you know to your point, and I think it's an excellent point, Angelo. The fact that they brought the father's criminal record into play, mm-hmm. how that had anything to do with that, outside of just trying to show you know you know this is how we value black men. Right. We don't. Right. We don't. And so so I, it's definitely connected to me, man. And and, and that's why. It's so important for, you know, you and I to have this conversation we're having. Right. Because, number one, it's intelligent. It's intellectual. It's two black men that are unashamedly black. Uh, I, you know, I had a, re- a tremendous relationship with my father before he passed. You know, you're talking about your relationship with your dad. And, and, and along that, Angela, talk about how your dad has influenced your life. Well, you know, I can one thing say. I'm glad you kind of mm-hmm. asked that or whatever. Um, my father has been a big influence. Mm-hmm. He was always... He was the type of man who put his family before self. Right. You know, right. he did that, made sure we had everything, mm-hmm. um, you know, made sure we was always in a good space like that. Yeah. And he was very financially disciplined. Yes. You yes. know, or whatnot or whatever. Um, so he was like that. Um, you know, my mother, she was she was fly. <laughs> right, you know, right. She's right. still fly, you yeah. know, or whatnot. But like I said, well, um, that, you know, they, they both made a, mm-hmm. you know, they both made sure that we were. You know, yeah, exactly, right? exactly. And like I said, you do have parents like that yeah. in the community. Yeah, absolutely. Yeah. And, and, and we're not the exception, man. It, it's it's so many examples of that. And, and I think that's the part that bothers me, that the same effort to showcase, you know, a relationship like you have with your dad, mm-hmm. a relationship that I had with my dad, that effort is not there in the media to show that. It's not. It's not. And, yeah, they, they just don't do that. Yeah, yeah. You know, everything is, you know, you know, uh, you know, the dad is missing, the dad is not doing this. Yeah, that whole baby mama, you know, baby daddy phenomenon that we talk about, and know, I don't ever see that changing. No, I know, I, I really know. don't. But I think we can. I think the way it changes though is that we take more platforms like this, right? And we tell our story, right? That is true. And don't have anybody telling our story for us. And I think that's the important part is that when we tell our story, we show the balance, right? I mean, is, is it horrendous that you know you have a thirteen-year-old black male uh, that is beat to death by a grown man? Yeah, that's horrible. But then let's give some balance. Let's talk about the positive things that our young black men are doing, right. the positive things that our fathers are doing. And that's why we want to showcase, you know, a, a, a father, Angelo, because I think that's important, man. Right. And it's important to show you as an entrepreneur, you know, a, a, a black man that's unashamedly black doing your thing. Thank you. You know, uh, you know, wearing your culture, you know, not ashamed of the kink in our hair. Right. But uh, embracing the melanin in our skin and understanding the diversity of our culture. Uh, and, and, and displaying that in excellence, man. So I just, you know, huge shout out to you, brother. Thank you, you man. Know, for for being that guy. Thank you. Yeah, you gotta you gotta definitely value yourself too. Yeah, yeah. You know, definitely yeah. as a black person, especially yeah, absolutely. in America, that we not valued enough. Absolutely. And if we don't value ourselves, then who else is going? That's true too. And that's where it starts. It starts with you know loving yourself and understanding who you are. Hey, listen, if you're gonna give us a call three one three two zero nine nine thousand three one three two zero nine nine thousand. 
Uh, if you want to talk to Angelo, find out about how to get, uh, you know, one of those fragrances, how to get a custom scent. That's the one I'm really interested in. Ladies, you really ought to take advantage of that, uh, advantage of that custom scent. Tell us again uh, your, your your social media, uh, all those things if people want to follow you, Angelo. Okay, if you want to follow me on Instagram, you can just type in Angelo Austin, A-N-G-E-L-O, last name Austin, A-U-S-T-I-N. Um, preeminence will come up, so you can go ahead and click on that. Um, Snapchat is Perfume King and Twitter it is Perfume King. Um, the website www.preeminentbrands.net, but any of those sites is connected to it, so you would definitely um, find it on there, or you can just Google Preeminence. So you got to get you got to get in contact. So I just I just went through on my uh, Instagram now. I'm following uh, Preeminence Inc. Uh, Angelo Austin, so I want to make sure that I put my uh, proverbial money where my mouth is. Oh, yeah. And I'm going to go out and check out this young man and see what I could do to support the business. Uh, and so I will be escorting a young lady out there okay. uh, to see if uh, we can find a custom scent that's okay. going to work for both of us. Hey, y'all, right? y'all definitely can. Y'all, y'all, y'all going to get your money's worth <laughs> you gonna out You're going to get your money's you worth. you get it out there. You come, you come, you getting quality. Now, brothers, I'm telling y'all that. Now, if you want to want to set up your next date, if you want to be impressive and show a little romance, Take your lady to Laurel Park Place, see my man Angelo, and get her a custom set. She gonna thank you for it because it, it's easy to you know it don't take a whole lot of thought to go out to Macy's and grab some and then right. bring it back and say, "Baby, here this go." I like the way this smell on you, but to take her to get something custom for her, and she can get it as customized as she want. Um, she can get there her name engraved in a bottle with Swarovski crystals in it. Um, you can do all that. Okay, you know, so I, I, I've done bottles like that for women before. So you can definitely get all of that done. You can get it plain if you want it, but the scent will be great. That's no dope, fellas. That, see, I'm, t- I'm trying to help you all out. Now, fellas, I know some of y'all, you, you having some problems with your woman. Man. She, you trying to get back on the good side. <laughs> <laughs> say, say, baby, I'm going to take, baby, you, out take you out to Laurel Place. place. I'm, I'm going to take you to meet the right. fragrance designer. Fragrance, get a, yeah, get a custom, custom design custom. fragrance. <laughs> custom, because yeah, you better than those uh, uh, those lines you just buy. I, I'm going to get you something custom with your name engraved on the bottle. Right, and that's something that's that's personal. That's right personal. There. It so is. She's going to always... Have that, hey, fellas. Let me give you a hint. Uh, you know, I, I'm 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 becoming the OG now. So becoming the OG, let me help you out. It's not how much you spend; it's the thought you put into what you give to your lady. Right. And when you put that thought into it, and you show her that you've listened to her, you understand her, uh, you are uh, 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 sympathetic to her, you're empathetic to her, and that you care about what she wants, bruh. I'm telling you. And see, women they driven emotionally. Yeah. So you got you got to really. You gotta, you gotta, you gotta I'm get not, on. I'm not saying taking advantage of that. I'm right. understanding how she receives love. That's what I mean. If you understand how she receives love, then it's gonna make your life a whole lot better. Yeah. Happy wife, happy life. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> right. Yeah. When you do something that's that thoughtful, that, that's that, thoughtful. that, that, that Absolutely. type of emotional Absolutely. signal, right? Because there. It, it means that you took time, you took thought, and then it also gives you quality time to spend with your lady. It does. Yep. It, it does. Quality time. You know, so you're doing something that has me, something that's a little bit different. It's not just that. You know. Uh, that 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 you know commercialized, but this has a special special touch to it. This is Ralph Gabby nine ten AM the Superstation. We're getting ready to take a break. It's going to be our last break at the top of the hour. We have uh, Red Line with Bank of Lay Thompson, and then you know uh, Bank of Lay is going to bring the noise uh, from a political standpoint to let you know what's going on in our community and uh, if it has a national a nexus or an international nexus, uh, but most importantly, what is best for those that listen to this station, 19 a.m., the Superstation, where the most powerful voices in the urban community reside, and you are amongst those. We're going to pay a few bills. We'll be right back uh, to wrap this up with Angelo Austin. Preeminent, preeminent sense right <laughs> after these messages. And you better not go no. How many steps does it take to find a job? Check job search engines, job banks, company websites, create a resume, cover letter. You get the idea, but now you can do it in one step. At One Stop, the Detroit Employment Solutions One Stop Service Centers. Jobs are available now and services are free. Job search assistance, resume preparation, and your own career advisor. One Step, One Stop. To find a One Stop Service Center, call 313-962-WORK. That's 313-962-WORK. Michigan Works Agency, Equal Opportunity Program Employer, TTY number 711. Hey, we get it. You don't always have time to watch TV. Maybe you're just a big fan of napping. Maybe you're getting your cat a manicure. This is why we're hosting Crazy Talk. Every day we'll show you the most insane moments from reality TV. And then we'll make fun of them. In front of a live audience. Sometimes with the person who lived through it in the studio with us. Shut up. What? Crazy Talk, TV's wildest moments from Cray to Z. 
Mm-hmm. Weekdays at 5 p.m. on WADL Detroit. Meet Cleveland Brown. What's happening to me? He's divorced with a kid. Yay! And starting over back in his hometown. What you think? Hmm, you look Waffle House handsome. He's got a new life with a new wife, a new family, and new friends. Yeah, that's who we are. <laughs> and now he's on five times a week. <laughs> the Cleveland Show. Viewer discretion advised. Weeknights at 1230 a.m. on WADL Detroit. Welcome to my hood! Everybody know everybody! And if I got it, everybody got it all! Welcome to my hood! This is 910 AM Superstation, the strongest and longest running radio station in Michigan. 910 AM Superstation gives you the flip side, the real side. This is our side. 910 AM has the best, the brightest, and the bravest voices in the urban community. Welcome to my hood! Thank you for calling 910 AM Superstation. What's your question or comment? The valet was trying to get me to pay for us to park my car, but I, went, I didn't park it there. And I said to the valet, he got up on my car like, I you don't give me the money. I said, let me tell you something. Oh, brother, tell us how you really feel. You better look at my license plate. I'm from Detroit. Next caller. Who is the idiot up there in Ransom that used all of these adjectives? sit there and say what teachers were. I mean, you know, damn it, I'd like to see him put my shoes on and go and see if he could do what me and millions of other teachers do on a daily basis. Don't stop. Keep calling and make sure your voice gets heard. Call in and chime in on the conversation. It's 313-209-9000. That's 313-209-9000. One more time. 313-209-9000. million DTE Energy customers across Michigan count on natural gas every day. So what is DTE doing to keep the service safe and reliable? John from DTE is here to tell us. Hey, John. Hello. Safety is our top priority. That's why we continually inspect and improve our natural gas system. In fact, we modernize about 100 miles of pipeline annually. Oh, so you're preventing problems before they start. Exactly. We're also modernizing natural gas meters by moving them from inside buildings to outdoors, making safety inspections easier. And certainly more convenient for customers. Well, that's the goal. We do everything we can to prevent natural gas leaks. But just in case a leak does occur, remember that DTE adds an ingredient to the natural gas to make it smell like rotten eggs, so everyone can identify it easily. So what should we do if we suspect a leak? Well, don't use electronic devices or open flames. Leave the area immediately and call DTE Energy at 800-947-5000, 24 hours a day. DTE Energy, know your own power. Welcome back to On Point with Ralph Gabriel, 19 AM, the Superstation. I have had a tremendous uh, conversation with Angelo Austin. Preeminence, two signature scents, working on the third, uh, known for his custom scents. And this is what uh, Angelo uh, wants to do. He's leaving a package here. And what we need you to do, ladies, tomorrow, tune in. So I'm playing with Ralph Guy. We're going to be kicking it with Kayla and Stacey Smith. And we're going to give away uh, a uh, signature package. Uh, and this one is called uh, Orgasm. Uh, Preeminence Inc. presents Orgasm. Uh, so we're going to give this one away. Uh, so, ladies, you might want to listen. And uh, we're going to uh, uh, do a giveaway tomorrow. Uh, so uh, please listen tomorrow to On Point with Ralph Godby and uh, kick it with Kayla and Stacy, And we're going to have a giveaway of one of the signature scents uh, from Angelo Austin and Preeminence, Inc. Uh, Angelo, man, thank you so much for coming in. Yeah, thank you for having me. Man, this has been a great conversation. This will not be our last one. I, I, I guarantee you that. Oh, yes. But what I want to do is for our listeners, I want you to uh, g- give out all your information again, how they can follow you. I'll talk about your product. Sell yourself, man. Sell okay. Yourself. So definitely, once again, I'm on Instagram. You can type in Angelo Austin. Preeminence Inc. will come up. You can follow me there. Um, the website, www.preeminentbrands.net, or you can just do Google Preeminent. So okay. come, everything will come up right there. Um, Snapchat and Twitter is Perfume King. Okay. So you can follow me on there. Um, or whatnot. And Facebook is Preeminence also. So you can go in there and like the page or whatnot. I am out at Laurel Park Place. That's on Six Mile Road in Newburgh. Um, and I am there Wednesday through Sunday. Wednesday through Saturday, it is 10 a.m. to 9 p.m. And Sunday, it is 12 to 6. And definitely come out, get you a nice custom fragrance made, or get some of the signature scents right there. So 
you definitely will enjoy your product. Oh, I can right. guarantee it. And then the packaging is amazing as Thank well. You. I got a chance to look at some of the product and how it's packaged. I mean, you're talking about professional. You're talking about classy okay. uh, spray bottles. I mean, it really reminds you of a time when we uh, really, you know, we dressed a certain way. Mm-hmm. Uh, we looked a certain way. We kept our uh, our ourselves in, in such excellence. So I really, really, Angela, appreciate your approach, your professionalism, uh, your presentation. Thank you. Uh, just really, uh, uh, really impressed. And this is why this platform is so important, because this is how we expose young black entrepreneurs uh, to a larger audience. We've got 50,000 watts, <laughs> I uh-huh. mean, and it goes all over the state. And actually, we go all over the world because we have people streaming live, www.910amsuperstation.com, www.910amsuperstation.com. We've got people that have the app, the 19AM Superstation app, if you download it from iTunes or Google Play. Uh, they're watching us and streaming live as well, Angelo. So uh, I want you to know you're on a powerful platform, yeah, man. I see, man. You're on a powerful and, and platform. I, and I'm glad you mentioned something about the presentation because mm-hmm. anybody out there that's doing something or trying to do something, you got to really put your money you do. behind yourself. You do. Like, seriously, because you, you got to chill out on going to the club for a minute. <laughs> right, you got to right. chill out yeah. on, on doing whatever with your money and yeah. go ahead and focus on what you're trying to get done because exactly. if you're trying to stand up against some of these major competitors mm-hmm. out here, you got to have your look a certain it's, way. It has to be. It and and to that's, that's going to cost you money. Mm-hmm. You know? Exactly. And so you definitely want to, um, you know, I be mean, serious. I, I mean, I'm looking at the bag, the the, 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 the packaging, everything really speaks class. Uh, so, young ladies, if you are, are looking for a custom scent or if you're looking for uh, two of the signature scents, please go out. Uh, Lowell Park Place to see my man, Angelo Austin. And one more thing, too. Next, um, I will be releasing a third one. It won't be until next year. It's called okay. Floral Fixation Number Two. Mm-hmm. Um, that one getting a specially designed bottle for it, getting specially even got a um package designer designing a package okay. packaging okay. for it. Mm-hmm. So it's gonna be really, really, really nice. And I will um I'm pretty sure I will be back up here by then, but I will be holding a casting call for model models to model for that. Uh oh, watch out. Yes. Okay, so great. great. I definitely will be doing that. Man, uh Angelo, uh much love. Congratulations yeah. to you, you for your success. Uh, we're praying for your continued success. And uh, to our listeners, uh, we really appreciate you. This has been a tremendously dynamic show. I want to remind you uh, one more time, uh, Father's Day is coming up uh, this Sunday. And what we would like to do, what we would like to do, and, and what we're working on, and we've gotten tremendous response, is we're going to select a father. And we want you to email us at onpointwithralphgodby at gmail.com. In one page, describe to us your unselfish father that puts everybody's needs ahead of his and you want to honor him that day and the way we want to honor him is not just in 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 in, in, in verbal recognition but we're going to offer him a a spa day uh, and offer him a trip to a a a, a, a barber we want to offer him a, a trip to a, a personal trainer uh, for a workout session and then a makeover as well uh and they, so please email that deserving father. Talk about him. If, he's, if he, he may be your husband, maybe your father, uh, you know, whoever that man is that goes above and beyond, that defies the first six minutes of the news, that really is uh, typical of what uh, our culture represents in fatherhood. Please send that nomination to On Point with Ralph Gabby at gmail.com. Uh, we have gotten some tremendous submissions so far. Uh, we'll be making an announcement as to who the selected father is. Uh, so we're looking forward to that. Uh, and please continue with submissions. Uh, the stories are just tremendous, uh, Angelo. Okay. Uh, and I'm looking forward to that. So Stacy, uh, Kayla, and I, we're going to have a, a, a tough choice. We're going to come up with a consensus of who that individual will be. We want to make sure we get all of the uh, gifts into your hand uh, so you can have, uh, so you can be all, all dapped up on your father day. Father's Day, whether you're being taken out to dinner, whether you're being taken to church, to mosque, to synagogue, wherever you're going, <laughs> we want to make sure that you look good and just and, and that you're feeling good and, and understand that you are appreciated. This is Ralph Gabby, 9, 10 a.m. The Superstation. Stay tuned at the top of the hour. We have Bank of Lay Thompson, Red Lines coming up, and I know it's going to be a dynamic show as it always is. And make sure you tune in tomorrow. Uh, tomorrow we're going to be kicking it with Kayla and Stacey Smith. Uh, we're going to be doing a giveaway, uh, Preeminence Inc. Custom Fragrance. Uh, it's one of your first uh, renderings yes. uh, called Orgasm. We all grown folks. We know what that is. <laughs> and uh, if, if, if she's wearing it, uh, you, you might get lucky and go to Red Lobster. Right. <laughs> <laughs> That's an honor to formation, too. Uh, for those of you that know, no. For those of you that don't know, 
You better ask somebody. Hey, this is Ralph Godby. Uh, this has been On Point. We have had a tremendous show today. Uh, we appreciate you. We appreciate all of our callers. And we want to give a shout-out to uh, station owner Kevin Adele uh, for making this platform possible uh, so that we can speak truth to power on the largest platform for black voice in the United States of America, I dare say. Uh, and to quote my late grandmother, Queen Esther Godby, we'll see you all in the morning. Lord willing, and the creek don't rise. Have a wonderful day. Again, stay tuned at the top of the hour for Red Line with Banker Lay Thompson. The most powerful voices in the African-American community are all right here on the new 910 AM radio superstation. Are you behind on your mortgage? Are you facing foreclosure? Do you feel like you have nowhere to turn? NID Housing Counseling Agency is offering free housing counseling. We can help you. You have options. With one simple phone call, you may be able to stop the foreclosure process, lower your monthly mortgage payments, and even save your home. Call 844 844- 